James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 18th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. J.D. Vance reacts to fake polls showing Kamala Harris dominating swing states. Republican Senator and VP nominee J.D. Vance was on Fox News Sunday with Shannon Bream to discuss topics including economic issues and election polls. J.D. said that conversations with the American people give him confidence for victory in November. Quote, if you see the numbers that we're seeing, and you actually talk to the American people, I feel extremely confident that we're going to be right in the place we need to be come November. Vance said the polls are not always accurate, trying to be polite. The New York Times reported that Kamala Harris is dominating Sunbelt states like Arizona, Nevada, and North Carolina, which I can personally hardly believe. Other fake polls are claiming Kamala Harris is ahead of Trump on all key battleground states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Vance did react to the left-leaning polls. This is not an election for just the MAGA vote. Trust me, Donald Trump has that. Republicans need to be fighting for suburban women, for college-educated, for independents, for moderate Republicans, and conservative Democrats. They want to be asked for that. Former presidential primary candidate Nikki Haley urging the Trump campaign and all Republicans to appeal to a broader group of voters than the already committed MAGA base. Joining me now, Republican vice presidential nominee and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Welcome back. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks for having me. Okay, so let's start there. This race is much different than what you were looking at a month ago. It is much tighter. Um, you have said Republicans, quote, are going to need every vote they can get. You heard what Nikki Haley had to say. Here's what Karl Rove says echoing her. He's going to be on the show later. Or so they want you to believe. I personally do not believe that we have a bunch of folks enthusiastic to elect Kamala Harris as president of the United States. Uh, he says, Mr. Trump so far has largely focused on themes that appeal only to his true believers, childish insults and talk of stolen elections, January 6th political prisoners and a weaponized justice system. That won't win him a single vote he doesn't already have. So you know the faithful are with you. What more can and should your campaign be doing to reach beyond those boundaries? Well, first of all, I think Ambassador Haley is right that we have to reach a broader group of voters, but I think that we're doing exactly that, Shannon. If you look at what President Trump has been saying at his rallies, what I've been doing at my rallies and my press events, is we've been making a very simple argument that when Kamala Harris became president, or vice president, I should say, uh, she caused policies that led to a rapid increase in inflation and a rise in chaos around the world. When Donald Trump was president, we had stable price. Let's not forget... Her actions as border czar. Since we had prosperity, we had higher take home pay for American workers, and we had peace across the world. The contrast is really remarkable. And importantly, Shannon, we actually have a vision for bringing down energy costs, for bringing down food costs, for making housing more affordable for American citizens. And we have been running on that. And of course, the media has been giving Kamala Harris a three week love fest. But the unfortunate fact for Kamala Harris is her record is her record. And we're going to prosecute the case that Donald Trump caused peace and prosperity. Kamala Harris caused chaos and lower take-home pay. I think that we get that message out there, Shannon. I feel very confident the American people are going to elect Donald Trump president in November. All right, I want to get to some of the policy, but first, a little bit more on the campaign. Much has been made of the fact that Corey Lewandowski is returning to the campaign. Uh, president Trump is well known for doing some shakeups in the summer leading up to his elections in 2016. It's this is President Trump's former, uh, well, election chairman. 2020. Um, here's an analysis from the Washington Post. They say this, with so many seeking his confidence, there's one thing that no one will tell him. What's most in need of fixing is the candidate himself. Now, Vivek Ramaswamy says he's had these conversations with the president. He is open. He's receptive to it. Who is the president listening to? And are there going to be more changes at the top of the campaign? 
Well, anybody who knows President Trump will tell you he listens to everybody. I think it's one of his great strengths as a leader is he solicits opinion from his campaign staff uh, to the people who serve him his food at a restaurant. He's trying to get feedback from everybody because he actually wants to understand where the American people are on the issues of the day. But look, you listen to one of Donald Trump's rallies. Go to his, his North Carolina rally from just a couple of days ago. He was talking about Americans suffering under higher prices. He was talking about the need to bring down housing prices so that young people can afford to get in a home. He was talking about the need to bring groceries down to the level that they were at when he was president, Shannon, because normal Americans can afford to put a nice meal on the table. These are very simple things. And I think that what a lot of the people who are giving Donald Trump advice would, I think, do well uh, to understand is that Donald Trump is carrying the message out there to the American people every single day. I'm doing. Trump wants to put America first again. Obviously, the globalists in charge now, being run by Barack Obama and the rest of them, don't want America first. They want to flood it with illegal immigrants and ruin the American dream for everyone, which they've just about done. If y'all elect Kamala Harris, giving Obama his fourth term in office, he will finish the job and it will be on each and every one of you that voted for Kamala Harris, knowing she's completely incompetent it every single day and we're just going to keep on doing it for the next 80 days and that's how we persuade the american people to elect donald trump the next president of the united states that's really what the campaign is all about i think we're very receptive to feedback but in the, at the end of the day if you look at our messaging we're focused on the issues that americans care about and we're going to keep on doing that i mean our fox news polling does show the economy is the number one issue and that people do give you all the edge on that and yet this is what we have out from some new polling out of the new york times they say Ms. Harris is now leading Mr. Trump among likely voters in Arizona, 50 to 45, and is even edged ahead of Mr. Trump in North Carolina, a state Mr. Trump won four years ago. While near The New York Times? Are we taking polls from the New York Times now? Come on. Growing his lead significantly in Georgia and Nevada. What is the administration doing, the campaign doing with that data as it comes in? I mean, these are critical states that you got to have to have a path to 270. Are there any pivots? Are there any, um, you know, reconfiguring of what you're doing in the strategy? Because you talk about your message, but is it not landing? Well, let me say two things about this, Shana. First of all, the polls tend to radically overstate Democrats. We certainly saw that uh, during the polling of summer of 2020 and summer of 2016. And of course, a lot of those polls were wrong when it came to election day. The, sec the polls are fixed by the mainstream media doing the polling. If we take a very large poll all around America, we're going to find out that Trump is by far the favorite because, again, the economy is the number one issue, and this administration has ruined it. With extremely high inflation, there's no way anyone can have the dream of owning a home ever again at this rate. And ladies and gentlemen, everyone knows food prices have shot through the roof. They're double, not 20% higher, they're double what they were when this administration, that's Biden and Harris, took control of our country. The second thing I'll say, Shannon, is what we have certainly seen is that Kamala Harris got a bit of a sugar high a couple of weeks ago. But what we've actually seen from our own internal data, Shannon, is that Kamala Harris has already leveled off. If you talk to insiders in the Kamala Harris campaign, they're very worried about where they are because the American people just don't buy the idea that Kamala Harris, who's been vice president for three and a half years, is somehow going to tackle the inflation crisis in a way tomorrow that she hasn't for the past 1,300 days. Giving Kamala Harris control over inflation policy, Shannon, it's like giving Jeffrey Epstein control over human trafficking policy. The American people are much smarter than that. They don't buy the idea that Kamala Harris represents a fresh start. She is more of the same. It is doubling down on the failed policies of the Harris administration to give Kamala Harris a promotion rather than to fire her, which is what I think most Americans are going to do on November. How does that not line up then with another poll we got out this morning, Washington Post, ABC, they're giving the vice president nationally a four to five point lead. Over, I mean, those are new numbers. So if you think the momentum is not 
swinging. The Washington Post owned by an asset, Bezos? Come on, can we get some real polls out here? Should I start a polling company? This might be the only way I can fight through all this crap. Your in, in, internal polls are suggesting differently. Every other poll that's been released has shown great momentum in her direction. You know, Shannon, I think there are a lot of polls that actually show her stagnating and leveling off. Of course, ABC Washington Post was a wildly inaccurate pollster in the summer of 2020. And look, if you see the numbers that we're seeing and you actually talk to the American people, I feel extremely confident that we're going to be in the right place come November. We can't worry about polls. We have to run through the finish line and encourage everybody to get out there and vote. But our message is going to be very simple. If you want to get back to the peace and prosperity, the rising take home pay, Donald Trump delivered it once and he can do it again. If you want to double down on the failed policies that have delivered higher food prices and higher housing prices, well, Kamala Harris has been vice president for three and a half years, and I guarantee she's going to make the problem worse if the American people give okay. her a promotion. So, okay. so I just don't see how anyone in their right mind could ever vote for this bozo. She can't even speak an English sentence correctly. Let me know what you think about Kamala Harris in the comments below. What you think her chances of winning this election are. And if you think, well, this has all been predetermined. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.